in the name of Allah, the Rahman and the Rahim. Dear students, Assalamu alaikum, I Naseem Gul. Uh, today we are taking uh, the lecture that is on uh, uh, semantics, semantic change. This is topic for discussion. Before going to start uh, the uh, today's lesson, uh, first of all, I'll give you the outline of the lesson. Uh, I'll briefly overview the previous lessons that what we have covered so far and then introduction of the uh, today's lesson definition of semantic change examples uh, semantic change in process of word formation like what are the processes that uh, are uh, like uh, uh, involved in semantic change so these are the some of the processes derivation invention clapping blending and uh, at the last there will be conclusion so dear students, uh, so far we have studied like uh, uh, semantics, various definition of semantics, that semantics is the study of meaning of words, phrases and sentences. Uh, and then we have studied uh, seven types of meanings uh, according to Geoffrey Leach. Okay. Uh, today we are studying uh, semantic change. Now what is semantic change? Like in every field, uh, we are uh, a human being. We are uh, like uh, we are changing things. Changes changes occur in our lives. Okay, like uh, we want change. We want positive change. Okay, so uh, change is like uh, the very compulsory part of the uh, life. Okay, human being. We are living life and we have uh, uh, many changes. We are observing uh, changes. So likewise, uh, language, language is used by human being. So human beings are very different, very, very like uh, uh, different characters are there. Uh, differences, culturally we are different. Uh, like uh, socially we are different okay so we have different backgrounds like uh, uh, education wise we are different background uh, uh, is uh, like uh, our background like uh, we have different backgrounds different uh, schoolings are there so uh, likewise there is a change in uh, language okay so semantic change in semantic semantics we are studying semantic change semantic change refers to the way in which the meaning of a word changes over a longer or short uh, over a long or short stretches of time like with the passage of time changes occur in words meanings different words uh, uh, like having different meanings uh, at one time while some other time we are getting, uh, we are like attaching uh, new word, new meanings to those words. Like we have different words. For example, uh, like in uh, 18th century, one word was used. So with with uh, different meaning it was used okay but now in 21st century the same word is used by uh, language learners language users with different meaning so changes occur with the passage of time okay as time goes we are observing changes in language so semantic change refers to like change in meaning meaning of words meaning of phrases meaning of idioms okay so like language is not fixed words meanings are not limited are not fixed okay are not restricted to one uh, type of meanings but with the passage of time uh, words meanings are changing so it's continuous and progressive uh, like process it's going on process so uh, we are uh, like uh, passing through different times and we are observing different meanings for the same words. It can, th this change can be internally or externally motivated, okay? So some changes are internally in language we are uh, like uh, uh, internally changes we are observing and some are external uh, changes we will explain. 
the alteration of meaning occurs alteration means change okay the change of meaning occurs because words are constantly used and what is intended by speaker is not exactly the same each time yes like like uh, 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 individual speakers they are using words so uh, like a speaker is using one word okay but each time uh, he or she has uh, having different meaning okay in his or her mind with different intention speaker speakers uh, using words okay so intention is different word is same remember please a uh, word the same word is used but with different intention at different occasion at different circumstances we are our speakers they are uh, intended they are conveying different meanings so that's why change uh, like takes a place in uh, meanings like uh, there is one uh, researcher shear defines semantic change as the change in the meaning of words with the passage of time yes change occurs like changes uh, do not take place okay uh, in isolation or suddenly but with the passage of time as we are moving so changes uh, are observing in language in meanings it is the development and change of the uh, semantic structure of a word which is always a source of qualitative or qu quantitative development of the vocabulary yes so like uh, on daily basis different vocabulary uh, different words are entering to uh, a language okay in language different words are, are uh, like uh, taking place are we are recording so that's why changes occur in structure in words so different meanings uh, are attached to different uh, words for instance as we have studied in history of english literature classes uh, that english has developed out of anglo saxon yes one dialect was there anglo saxon dialect was there like we are calling old english period okay old english uh, period is uh, also known as anglo saxon period so in that period uh, uh, like uh, language was used but the same like we are using now english the same the, the that present english is the uh, like the uh, advanced form of that very language which was used by anglo-saxon that what is now referred to as like uh, uh, anglo-saxon ko ab hum kya kehte hain roman languages are french are spanish are italian okay all these ha have like uh, uh, their origin is there in latin however until the principles of historical linguistics were it was uh, not realized that language a uh, change is universal or continuous and regular so this change is universal uh, it was not realized earlier but now uh, we are realizing that very change that change is universal or continuous or regular regular changes are there some of the facts are uh, like uh, people they have uh, conducted research over uh, uh, language change english language change or arabic language change like uh, semantic change is just as common as other types of change like we have phonological changes in language morphological changes in language and syntactic changes in language uh, are there in english language okay so likewise uh, semantic change is also uh, observed in uh, language okay the the change of meaning semantic change means the change of meaning change in meaning of words with the passage of time it is taking place so likewise like we have phonological changes we have morphological at different level we have different uh, uh, changes so uh, in meaning uh, like in phonetics and phonology we are studying those changes okay in morphology we are studying morphological changes of uh, in words and 
like uh, in syntax we are studying syntactic changes in words like how different uh, li like changes occur in sounds in phonemes okay in pronunciation changes are there in at morphology level means the word structure changes in structures are there uh, are taking place uh, changes in spellings are taking place so likewise changes in meaning uh, are also uh, observed by the researcher by the uh, scholars english words have been changing their meaning for centuries and words are still changing their meaning today yes so the, uh, uh, like earlier i said i mentioned that that is a continuous process it is going on process so uh, like a century before it was started and now the same change is taking place for instance there was a clear difference in the meaning uh, between un in the meaning of words like two words are there uninterested and disinterested the first meant apathetic while the second me meant having nothing to gain or lo lose from any uh, outcome semantic change uh, yes so some of the processes are involved in semantic change new words are constantly coming into use and not only new words but also new pronunciation and even new grammatical forms are uh, uh, entering into a language one language is taking new words new pronunciation in new grammatical uh, structures okay at the same time old words old words old forms in old pronunciation are regularly or gradually dropping out of use like new words are entering and the uh, the old words the old pronunciations and old grammatical structures they are, we are dropping those structures undoubtedly the most conspicuous type of semantic change is in the appearance of new words for instance ye kuch examples hain ki sabse zyada jo change hai na wo new words enter hote hain so that's why semantic change is taking place these new words have been pouring pouring into english throughout its history like we mentioned that from anglo saxon period it started okay the semantic uh, change process was started from uh, from earlier uh, like uh, from uh, earlier period okay uh, and today the language is acquiring many new words every year yes this is one of the problem that every year new words are uh, acquired by a language one of the major tasks faced by lexicographers the uh, the the scholars are people who are designing dictionaries who are uh, like writing dictionary so for the, for them there is a problem to prepare new edition of their dictionaries is to collect the thousand of new words we have uh, appeared since their last edition like dear students we are saying that language is a living entity okay we are there are uh, human beings are living so in the same circumstances in the same environment we have uh, language language is uh, like living with human beings so uh, like uh, uh, we are growing okay we are uh, like uh, uh, we have uh, uh child ch childhood we have uh, other things so that's why we are seeing the same thing okay in fact many different ways of acquiring sorry uh many different ways are there we have studied these ways uh, these uh, processes uh, in uh, uh, morphology derivation uh, the process of derivation is there invention like new new words new Uh, concepts are invented by the uh, scholars clipping the word clipping uh, 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 process of clipping is there borrowing is there and many other processes are there the the last one compounding okay the most common one is compounding okay 
लाइक टू टेक मेनी वर्ड्स मेनी स्ट्रक्चरल वर्ड्स फ्राम अदर नदर वे ऑफ एक्सप्लाइटिंग फॉरन लैंग्वेज एज टू लाइक टू टू गेन टू कम्बाइन टू टेक मेनी वर्ड्स फ्राम अदर लैंग्वेज नाओ सीमेंटिक चेंज इज कामनली ऑब्जर्व इन इंग्लिश इन अरेबिक इट इज कॉन्स्टेंट फिनमिन लाइक चेंजेज इन अदर एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज लाइक वाइज प्रोनसिएशन चेंजेस इन प्रोनसिएशन वोकेबलरी एट्सेट्रा आर देयर सीमेंटिक चेंज इज स्ट्रांगली लिंक्ड विद टू आर्बिट्री कल्चरल एंड सोशल चेंजेस इट आल्सो डिपेंड्स ऑन द लैंग्वेज यूजर्स एडवांसमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट इन वेरियस फील्ड्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव फिनिश्ड आवर क्लास टुडे सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क मी लेटर ऑन यू कैन कमेंट थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग असलकुम